Yeah, I went to Mixed Galleries the other day to go see uh, for the night Origins to go see more Alien and Bakar and Baker or Bakar Summer Day and Night Party. They started from three and ended really late at night. It was a pretty good party to be honest. Again, just a real big prop up and shout out to um, Mix in general. Um, there's not a I've I think in the last few years for me personally I used to again I think as most people in the kind of you know electronic um, scene. Or maybe, yeah, maybe electronic music scene for the most part. We all used to congregate around East London, the trendy East, right? Shoreditch, Dawson, all those kind of places. And those that, that's what, that was our kind of zone. But then I think with the Hackney licensing laws, they clamped down on all the clubs and bars in that area because you know, residents, residents had like, you know, um, legitimate grievances for the noise pollution that was coming out uh, of the clubs, for the just the, the general antisocial behavior of some of the punters out there. Because unfortunately, having a nightclub in Dawson is great for foot traffic, but then you invite a whole score of randoms, right? People just out for a night out, just end up kind of turning up to your club night that you've put a lot of care and attention into. So you get like a really weird mix of people in there, right? You get people out there for the music and have people there to pick up, people there just to, you know, hit on girls or boys, people there just to like have a have a, have a a tear up. So it got a bit crazy. So I'm not as, I think in the beginning when all the hoopla was on social, people were like, oh my God, how can you cancel a shit? How can you not let the clubs, the clubs were there before the houses? Uh, no, the clubs were there before these trend, uh, the new build houses, not the residential, but the new build houses, blah, blah, blah. I was a bit sympathetic of the residents because when you read some of the residents' accounts of them coming out of their house on, on a Saturday morning, going to do their Saturday afternoon shopping and shit and walking into this vomit or walking into a staircase full of just um, a, the aroma of urine and shit, it's, it's not something that you'd like to hear, right? Um, so over time, it's, there's been a bit of a lull. There's a bit of a lull in that kind of period of those clubs closing. It felt like a little bit of a dead period. In that middle bit, then I started going to like a lot of those um, uh, don't what what are they called? I forgot the name of it. The people that put on parties in the forest and they put some parties in warehouses. They moved them around. I forgot their names anyway. But a lot of those kind of like pop up warehouse parties started popping up, right? Uh, no pun intended. In that kind of interim stage. So I started to go to a few of them, but again, the crowd there is a bit weird. It requires you to get really on it and to go really hard because it's hard to kind of stay out at that kind of time and just enjoy the music. It's a bit, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit messy for my, for my taste personally. Um, and again, you know, comparing it to a Berlin, it just isn't as polished as you'd want it to be, right? Which is the whole point of it because it's done, you know, quite, it's done by a, a real small group of people. They try and get the things up and down really quickly. They try and make it safe as possible. They try and make it the music diverse. I don't know. They, they try their best of what they can do. So eventually, you know, I kind of like pull, uh, put my foot off the pedal of that. And plus, in general, just taking over too much of my life going into those kind of things because, you know, essentially it will turn into like a four day weekend. Right. So um, I kind of stopped doing those things. I was like, you know what? I, really, I do need a clubbing experience. I really want to go and see good DJs play. You know, being a DJ myself, um, I want to see what the best people are doing. I want to go and see what the best promoters are doing in terms of party wise. I, I want to go see what, what the levels are. Because I think in general, sometimes when you're when you're like a DJ in a bar or a club and you have aspirations to kind of, you know, move up the ladder, become a touring act, whatever, you can sometimes get a little bit delusional about where you are, really levels wise. But it's nice to kind of go to these nightclubs, go and in, um, go and see somebody put that's professional, a professional do their job. It can also give you motivation, and inspiration for the stuff that you're doing, but also can kind of settle your ambition just a tiny bit, so you don't get a little bit big for your breach. Like, okay, cool, there's levels to this shit. So, in effort to find those kind of things, there's a bit of a lull. But then it seems like over the last few years, or maybe in the last few months, sorry. Places like Hackney Wick have really kind of um, propped up the scene again, right? They've become my de facto place to kind of go out on a night out. And of course it helps because for the most part, um, I'm always DJing in Westfield in Stratford, right? So on Fridays and usually in Leighton Stone on Saturdays. So it's a bit easier for me to get to Hackney Wick than it would be to get to Dawson, right? In terms of a distance wise, in terms of coming back, I can come back. I can get there in half an hour walking. I can come back half an hour walking um, from both from both distances, I think, for the most part, right? From Stratford and from um, Leighton Stone. But then, um, weirdly enough, um, it kind of coincided with these clubs kind of propping up the hacking with clubs and also the the promoters really putting on really amazing parties i went to a drag night um the other day at the yard called um clown something i forgot the name of it and then i went to this thing in mixed garage the other day too um the night called oranges which i'm always which i've kind of gone to a few of them i've been to the one with um dr rubinstein and roy Perez, which was fucking phenomenal I went to the one with Steffi. I've been to this one. I've been to quite a few. I, I think maybe that might be free. I've been, but I, I'm always keeping an eye out for their nights because they tend to put on some really good artists or people that I'd want to go see. So in general, just, you know, just killer people in general. So um, I just want to give a big shout out to them and what they do because, again, I just think 
in an era where people are complaining about no places to be in terms of going out wise in the night and you know it's hard to kind of go places and really feel like you're in a safe environment in a place that you're going to hear good music in a place where the sound system is great great bartenders and stuff it's good to kind of go to a bar where it's a fairly simple layout you know they've got um, massive metal shutters that you kind of go through after you've been searched by security there's a girl at the front or guy at the front whoever kind of scans your ticket um, as soon as you walk in you know the sound is blaring in front of you there's all these massive beer um, kegs uh, stacked up behind the DJ booth you walk into the mass a kind of like a square dance floor for the most part and one bar kind of facing the dj booth a, rare, a fairly um small kind of simple bar with about five or six bartenders in and no matter how busy it looks you, you tend to get served really quickly like they're super quick in terms of getting you served they have a massive they have like a little small nice little pos um a machine that they use to tap uh, if you've got contact as payment just a really easy way to do things the beers are really tasty for the most part um they tend to get quite warm because in there is fucking especially when it's a good night it's going off you by the time you get your beer in your hand it's quite chilled when you get in your hand and by the time you kind of go to the dance floor it's already turned into chocolate milk so you have to kind of be quick in the with the with the, with the drinking and then they've got like a great little outside bit um where everyone tends to like you know congregate um share a cigarette share some war stories of clubbing adventures they've had bond share some facebook details it's always kind of a good vibe in a smoking area for the most part um and you get to get some nice fresh air and you get to come back in and have a dance again it ends at four so it's not like a crazy time to stay out especially in london maybe in that kind of area you don't need to go out to another house party you feel quite um done with it and you go home but again so so i just need to give a big shout out for them because again they they run that place really well for the most part i haven't seen any trouble in there for the most part there might be some odd scallywags here and there the kind of dudes that you know that pickpocket your phones and stuff but for the most part everyone tends to look after each other i know i've done it before when i've been in there i've tend to kind of you know if i've seen especially girls around me who kind of like um will stand around especially if i'm in the corner where i like to stand next to the speakers they might put their bags down their benches and stuff and i'm always kind of reminding them hey keep an eye on your bag because uh, there's pickpockets around and stuff and they'll kind of you know uh kind of fix up and put their bags nearer to them but for the most part it's again one of my favorite venues um in London, in Hackney for the most part, um, mixed garage and next door the yard too for maybe a more of an alternative kind of um, night. They are, I'm assuming, yeah, they are uh, mainly a queer um, themed or centric um, theatre for the most part. People say the theatre shows are there are really good. I haven't been there, but the club nights I've been to there have been good. But yeah, big shout out to Mix. And if you want to have a good techno inspired night out, definitely keep an eye out for the night called Origins. They put on some amazing DJs and I'm sure they'll have probably another night or two coming up very, very soon.